Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny. JD. So, we haven't done any Mamma Moo in a while, mm -hmm. but we have a request from Christy Supu. Hello. Hello. For Hwasa Maria. Woo. Now. That's a good tune, good tune. I have heard this song. Possibly in my car. <laughs> no. I've heard this song quite a few times because I work with uh, two kids. They are 11 and 13. And they will... You know how I will put on my K-pop playlist mm. and I'll pick the song I want to listen to and it will continue from there. Mm -hmm. When I'm at their house, they will say, she who must not be named, play, and they'll name the song. And then after that song, she will play suggestions. other suggestions. Mm -hmm. And the 13-year-old found this song mm. and she loved it. No, so okay. she would listen to it quite often, so I have heard it mm. quite a bit. Yeah. It's a nice, smooth sound and it's... Uh... Dare I say almost like I don't know if it's just because it's called Maria, Latin, but it's it's. I was yeah. gonna say it's almost like a little bit of Latin vibes, but yeah, yeah, it's nice. I've never. I don't think I've seen the MV for it though. I don't know. Hmm. So, might be new. I'll let um, you know once it's on if I can recall. But. I reckon she's gonna look gorgeous. I, I reckon <laughs> you're right. I reckon you're right. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the comments, what's your favorite Hwasa solo? I like Twit. Twit's a good one. Oh. oh this started dark. I don't think I've seen this, this MV. This is my kind of MV. <laughs> oh, I like what she's saying. Hello. There is so much to go into in this. Mm. Thank you. 
Is it curlies? <laughs> I was just about to say, oh, do we think that the fact that there's three of them coming in is to represent the other mm. girls? It is then. Wow. The lyrics and everything in that MV was telling us exactly what she's saying. Yeah. <laughs> so before that MV came out, I think do you remember when I first spoke to you about Mama Moo and why I loved them and why I loved Hip and things like that? Yeah. Was, and I, I think I talked to you through a bit of them and that um, Hwasa specifically yeah. had gets shit for her body, even though she is not big. She is yeah, gorgeous. She's amazing. However, body. standing next to other female idols she is bigger she yeah. is curvy and she has said before she's like I'm not gonna starve myself cut myself make myself like, I'm not gonna force my body to be something it's not yeah. I love myself too much for that and like she's had to really fight to and that's what that song represents um, and it was it was basically like a clap back at you know you're if you're so concerned about me how come you're spending all your time talking about me yeah I to be honest I didn't necessarily link it to her body mm. but that's but the I irony did, because how good does she look but I like, linked it anyone to ever? as an idol all the shit you get and for yeah. what yeah. why why do you have to be so hateful for what? Sure. what's the point yeah. you don't like it you can just watch something else listen to something else you don't and all the visuals in that because mm. for me in the chorus parts where she was saying you're beautiful mm. she was completely stripped back yeah. nude vest joggers yeah the hair was down, the makeup was quite neutral mm. for all of them. Yeah. And it was that kind of just natural beauty. Yeah. Um, I like that she also had male and female dancers come in. That yeah. kind of this works for everybody. Yeah. Gender neutral kind of thing. When it started, that whole thing with her in the bath, mm. and then obviously the funeral scene, I think that was a nod to idol suicide yeah this yeah. leads to suicide yeah. it's it's yeah. that serious you're throwing these yeah. out irresponsibly and it was mm. like all of them like death by a thousand paper cuts because yeah. all of them could be a little dagger and, and not really only that but the fact that it was in a bath and they had the crime tape and all the photographers yeah it wasn't like a crime scene you didn't get grace or, or respect or privacy yeah it was death. still even that you're gonna yeah. use yeah. um there was the whole thing of the straight jacket mm. it can drive you insane dealing with all of that mm -hmm. or people think you're insane if you clap back mm. or, and when she was sat there and all the pencils were coming at her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I took that to mean the things that people write online mm. or write about you in magazines yeah. that they just don't take responsibility for the yeah. impact that can have yeah. because you know you can have computers flying at her yeah. pencils yeah. <laughs> I also personally thought that could have been a double meaning of um, when you go in for like a surgery or something, they mark your skin with a pen. Oh, yeah. And then obviously the crown that she picked up, the diamonds was all like mm. needles. Yeah. And it's like, even if I got all, if I gave into your demands, I got all this surgery, like first of all, you shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. Would I be myself? Would that make me happy? Like, no, like there are yeah. healthier, more holistic ways to find happiness. And it was just like this kind of giving in to, should I, you know, should yeah. I give in or why people give in to that is because of this bloody pressure yeah, so. I looked at the crown as even when you are at the top you're the queen of K-pop you're still getting all these it's painful it doesn't needles come without pain yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it literally takes the sacrifice yeah. of your blood yeah yeah and that's why I remember um, I haven't seen the MV I thought it was fantastic yeah. but I remember reading about the song when it came out because I was like oh what's this all about mm. And again, I was like, yes, because this literally, I did, I've did i never understood why people gave her shit. I was like, she's gorgeous. Yeah. And I love the fact that there are some different figures in K-pop. Yeah. Like, you want representation of different women. Do you know what I would do to have a her figure? Oh, yeah. Um, and, well, I mean, in the beginning, when they were sat at the table, and she was covered in blood and... Mm -hmm. I love it, though, because she was like, fine, yeah. I'll make opportunity out of this. Yeah. You you want to hate me? Fine, let's go ahead. I'll make money out of your dark, shit. Does I this like put it. meat on your table? Like, yeah, yeah love it. Because she's like, because it fucking does for and me. And the fact that she was direct. <laughs> there was no innuendos. There was no metaphors. It yeah. was directly saying, yeah. what are you playing at? <laughs> yeah. And I love it because the clap back a little bit like we've seen with other artists like Sugar from BTS and whatnot saying, you spend your time hating on me. Well, guess what? I'm going to use that and make me money. Yeah. So she is making something out of it. But that's not to say that her preference would be that if we just shut the fuck yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I liked that 
she went into that end part in a military style looking outfit almost like I'm ready for the fight I'm gonna mm. fight this you know yeah yeah and I can't remember I'm really sorry guys please um please let us know but um Moomoo's um the name Maria I think it has biblical connotations of someone who was chastised uh-huh. and I think that's why it was Maria yeah good for her clap back on that and that obviously the the women of Mama Moose support her in that and they're like hell yeah yeah having them sharp at yeah. the end yeah definitely so so nice it was definitely mm. a, a thing of girls got your back <laughs> yeah so that was our reaction to Hwasa Maria thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.